So you can see that I have it all packed up to the brim. And um, this is what I usually carry on a day out with my daughter. Um, the exception being, I, I am usually a fan of carrying the fuel cell in addition to my bag. But this is a little bit bigger bag than um, than I liked. Than I, I usually carry just like the Be Light with the fuel cell. So this is a little bit bigger, so I wanted to get her food inside as well. Um, and that's just in a medium set piece and not the fuel cell. One of the things I didn't mention was the, ju the new hardware on the Jujube bag. Uh, it is just, it's like a brushed metal versus the glossy. And I really like it. And you got the cursive, um, their cursive logo on there. So that that's really nice. That's the one thing I did not uh, mention before. But anyways, getting into it, because the video is already super long. Um, the mommy pocket, I just have my uh, wallet. It's just a cheap wallet that I got from Target. And then there's my keys on the key fob. And on this back zipper pocket, I have a small set or I have the coin purse um, with my iPhone 6S Plus headphones. Um, so we'll go ahead and just put that back in there. And then this is just a tampon holder. And then and I have the uh, be tagged in the Unikiki. And you can see just have the membership cards for Lakewood Children's Museum and the zoo in there. And then I have the medium set piece in this holder right here. We're gonna go ahead and just zip that up. So stay up for a second. Um, and in the medium set piece, I just have mommy things like makeup, uh, tissues, and uh, Bath and Body Works lotion. Um, just, yeah, just mommy, mommy things. Um, and then one thing I don't have in the mommy pocket that I will probably put in there uh, is gum, but I'm, I'm out right now, so I don't have that. I'll just leave that hanging. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do the back. In the back here, I do not have my phone in there because I am using it right now. Um, I have a digital, I have a DSLR, I just never record with it. Uh, but anyways, uh, changing pad is in there and that's it. Um, the one thing that I do not have in this bag that I really would like to have in this bag is the uh, is my Erin Condren planner. But because I have, I'm taking the changing pad to the Children's Museum today, I do not need my Erin Condren planner, so we're just gonna leave it up. Other, otherwise, I would, I would uh, ditch the changing pad and put in my Erin Condren planner. So, on the inside here, we have the Be Quick, and this just has my daughter's diaper accessories, like um, she's got the, the size four from her swaddlers, and then the travel size of the Bordeaux butt paste, and then just the, a booty pod with a cover and a hole that I made. You can see the stitching is not so great because I'm a, I'm a really big amateur, so. But uh, anyways, it's just that. Uh, I, I, I plan to make a um, cover that's similar to this print. I will not be using Jujubee's um, changing pad to do that because I still like I said still use the changing pad covers or changing pads so I won't be using that. Uh, a little travel size of the neat cheeks and this little mesh pocket back here. Nothing in this mesh pocket because as you can see it was full to the brim so it really pushes against the sides. Um, and then here's the large set piece and in the large set piece I just have a pair of clothes from my daughter. So you just, I just have a long sleeve white onesie, a pair of white socks, a nice floral um, button up shirt, and a pair of uh, jean looking leggings to go with it. So um, I thought it went with the print fairly well. So, And then I have the Duchess medium set piece and this has just got her snacks in it. So basically inside here, I have two other bags, which is, I believe they're called just the Snack Itsy Ritz. Um, and one has um, freeze-dried mango or pineapple, and the other one has um, freeze-dried peas and a, a few of the um, goldfish crackers. And then she loves the Mishy Mash applesauce stuff, and then she also loves the Jammy Sammy. So that's that's in, in the medium set piece in the Duchess. And that was just 
uh, tucked here in this mesh pocket. And then the zipper pocket here, I have the um, first little first aid kit, and that just has band-aids, neosporin spray, the yeah, this little travel size neosporin spray right there on the front, and alcohol swabs. Um, so that's just a small emergency kit. Okay, and then so here on the side, I have tucked away in here the messenger strap for the Be Classy and that fit just fine there. Um, obviously because this does not have the open bottle pockets, I will not be utilizing any of my um, water bottles. And I mean, unless it's one of those little miniature bottles because it will not accommodate my uh, larger thermoses. Okay, and then in here is that bottle that I was talking about that's just a little, in my opinion, too tall for the bag, but it does fit in there snugly very snugly and so this just holds her water in it and of course it's empty right now i was just putting it in there to show you um, that it will hold a bottle of this size in there you just have to work it up push it up in and then slide it up slide it in so i believe that is it for the bag yes um anyways this is called the be the Juju Bee Be Classy and the Blooming Romance gorgeous print. I the the seller for me is the lining on the inside. I love the sage lining, um, and just the overall um, bag itself is is well designed. I like the um, I actually do like these the more of a rectangular pocket in the front, which is really nice. So I do like that. Um, but, I think if I were to complain about one thing in the bag, I'm not so sure yet. I haven't used it long enough, but I'm not so sure that I will like the zipper bottle pockets just because it will not accommodate one of my thermoses. So, um, but yeah, anyways, that's that. Overall, I think the bag is really great and I'm very excited to keep using it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe.